75 years. Welcome to ABC4 News at 10. I'm Glenn Mills. And I'm Emily Flores. We thank you for joining us here tonight. Our top story coming out of Tooele, a newly released body cam footage showing how two officers rescued a 12-year-old in a submerged car. This happened earlier this month. Yeah, such a dramatic mm -hmm. incident. ABC4's Lenny Castro joining us live in studio, breaking it down for us tonight. Elena. A vehicle sinking underwater at Settlement Canyon Reservoir, a little girl trapped inside. The audio painting a harrowing picture of the unrelenting efforts it takes to save a life. Newly released footage from the Tooele Police Department shows officers pulling up to the scene. People panicked, flagging down officers and signaling them where to go. Once they arrive, family members frantic, saying that the girl is only 12 years old and that they did what they could, but the water was too cold. <laughs> She's 12? Hey, take your boots off. We're doing this. No, babe, it's too cold. It's too cold. I try. As officers prepare for their entry into the water, you can hear a mother's pain as she wails in fear. Her agony continues as the officers are trying to rescue the little girl out of the submerged vehicle. Please. Oh, my God. All right, one more second. Oh, my God. It's cold. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Get her out! Give me goggles! Anybody got goggles? Though visual images are limited due to the officer leaving his body cam on land, you can hear the unsettling commotion of the situation. Hurry up! Go, go, go! Give me a pry bar! Give me something to open the door! <laughs> Officers were unsuccessful in opening the car doors, which led them to shooting a window to get inside and rescue the girl. This is the back window. Let's get the back window. Right here. Guns! Oh, Remark Carl, shoot out the front window. The gun! Give me the gun! I got a front window right here! Hurry! Please, she's in the me! According to the Tooele Police Department, that little girl was unconscious when officers performed CPR. She luckily regained consciousness before being taken to the hospital, where she's been listed as being in stable condition. Glenn, Emily, back to you. Whew, all right.